What's up guys, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com doing a Q&A on air compressors and connecting air compressors and trying to get more volume out of these things to paint a car. So here we go. Hey Tony, greetings from Sydney, Australia. I would appreciate your advice on how to paint my Ford in acrylic metallic with these air compressors. Alright, so let's see what you got here. So we have a 40 liter 2.5 horsepower, which is small liter wise let's go back to liter to gallon conversion so let's give you the exact measurement so we got a 10 gallon uh, air compressor here and another what is this uh, 50 liter so that's probably that's 90 liters in total which gives us 23 gallons which is still tight for painting a car. Listen, if you're going to be painting a complete car, you'd want at least 30 gallons and that's going to be tough. You know, um, and if you want to be comfortable painting a car with have no issues whatsoever, you need 227 liter tank just to hold the volume because if you're painting a large car, you know, you're using a lot of volume, a lot of air coming out because you're nonstop going around the car to get paint on that thing, right? So if you're using two little tanks like this, you're not gonna have enough air, compressed air, right, to blow paint out of your gun. You know, you're gonna run out a quarter way through, and then you're gonna have to stop because you have to wait for the compressors to play catch up to get air into the tank so you can continue. And I've painted cars with 30 gallon air tanks in the past successfully, but it's tricky because you have to wait and play catch up, right? And you have to know, and you have to be able to lay it on wet and make sure that it doesn't dry by the time you lay, continue spraying your first coat on or your second coat, right? So it's super tricky. Uh, the only way to get around it is to paint your car in sections. So if you're dealing with 90 liters, which is basically a 23 gallon air, 24 gallon tank, which is small by the way, you know, I would, I would go for painting one or even two panels max at a time. You know, do prep two panels, get two panels ready, paint it, wait, do another two panels, and so on. That's the only way you could really successfully bang it out because continuously playing catch up with this, and it's going to build up a lot of condensation in your tanks, a lot of water. You know, it's going to be on for a while. Plus, this thing only puts out 7.8 CFM. I'm not sure. That's at 145 PSI. Uh, you know, you need volume. And number one, I would also change your gun to a low volume, low pressure spray gun because you're gonna you could use less volume. Okay, um, check out if we go to Zula.com, uh, a recommended medium grade spray gun. You know, if you're doing DIY projects, I would definitely look into the Atom X20, low volume, low pressure. So that is this one right here. And then if you want to go all out and get the best of the best of the Atom line, then check out the Atom X27, which actually comes with a gun bud ultra lighting system here. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. They give you that as a gift for getting the X27. But if you don't want to spend around 350 for a great gun, you can get this one for around 267 and it's a great low volume, low pressure spray gun. Um, uh, that Adam makes very very high quality high precision spray guns and I these are the only guns I've been using for the past two and a half three years now um, at the Learn Auto Body headquarters so definitely check these guns out at Zula.com um, as get you know getting back to your question here there has to be a port probably near the top here or on the side or maybe on the bottom I know there's a drain port but some air compressors have an extra port where you can connect a bar you know, basically a, a, a pipe and connect two air compressors. I've uh, I've done that in the past. My father's done that in the past, but but with larger air compressors, not with small ones like this. But there's got to be some ports around here where you can plumb um, and, and hook up these two air compressors. All you have to do is hook them up, then that, then you're good. Then you actually turn these two little 10 gallon, you know, 40, 50 liter tanks into double the size. Um, and I would also you could even let both tanks run. Um, I would use one pressure cutoff switch, you know, disable one and use one pressure cutoff switch. So you basically have two motors pumping, which will pump quicker, right? It's basically kind of turning it into a five horsepower maybe, right? Because you're using, 
you got two motors pumping air. So it's going to be double the quickness. So it, you know, it might be good if you. It, I it'll definitely be better if you hook them up somehow. But you need to make sure you have your plumbing ports, okay? And if you only have one plumbing port on each, right? And you can't. You're not going to connect them by the drain. You don't want to connect them there. You might want to. Uh, you might have to connect them at this section here and build in a T for your plumbing under where you have your external air coming out. You might want to put a T in here and then connect it to your other air compressor. Okay, before before it coming out. It's very hard for me to show you uh, with these pictures, but I think you understand what I mean. Uh, and here's that other air compressor. Anyway, there's a little work, little plumbing that you have to do. If this is your only option. If you have another option, you have a little bit of money, you could pick up a larger compressor. They're not that expensive for a few hundred bucks. If you look on your local classified, I'm sure you could find a larger air compressor. And again, if you want to paint a complete car um, and have no issues whatsoever, just have an all-around great compressor for your shop, look for something you know near 200 to 250 uh, liters in size, you know, converting it to your metric system. For us in the U.S., we use gallons. But, you know, this is the ideal for an overall DIY shop painting a car. You know, perfect size. Okay, you could do 80 if you want, if you have somebody else working on something while you're painting. But most likely, if you're painting, you're painting, right? So it's Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Let me know your thoughts. Click the links down below in the description to get more links and more videos. And uh, you know, also comment down below. Let me know what you think. All right, Tony here. Talk to you soon. Don't forget to go to Learn Auto Body and Paint by clicking the top right of this video right around here right, uh, to get a free 85-page auto body booklet. Just put your name in, and we will mail that to you along with a seven-day video training series. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.